RV Tools is a widely used utility for VMware environments, helping users make accurate decisions around planning, deploying, and managing complex workloads. It has been voted a top VMware utility many times by independent parties and has been around for the past 15 years. We have recently released version 4.6.1, which includes some notable updates. To download RV Tools, simply visit the RV Tools website at rvtools.com. Once RV Tools is installed, we can perform a data collection and connect to a VMware vCenter. Specify either the host name or IP address of the vCenter server and provide the administrator credentials. Let's go through the new columns we have added to RV Tools. On the vInfo tab, we have added the following columns suspended to memory, suspend interval, Overall CPU readiness, active memory, fixed pass through hot plug, op notification timeout, VM failover in progress, customization info, and guest detailed data. On the vHost tab, we have added the following columns, compliance check state, domain list, and memory tearing type. We've also added new certificate columns, which include certificate issuer, certificate start, certificate expiry, certificate status, and certificate subject. All these new fields are also included in the updated Excel or CSV report. To export the collected data to either Excel or CSV, simply go to the file menu and choose whether to export to Excel or CSV. Here's a sample of the exported Excel file. We have the vInfo tab open, and here are some of the new columns we've added in this release. As mentioned, there are new columns added to the vHost tab as well. Next, let's visit the vHealth tab. On the vHealth tab, we have added warning messages to indicate certificate expiration. Certificate expiration can be configured in the Health Properties panel and has a default value of 90 days which can be changed. In this example, we can see that the host certificate will be expiring within 1,588 days. If we visit the Health Properties panel, you can see that the threshold setting is at 1,600. Let's change this back to the default of 90 days. When we apply this, notice that the message has disappeared since the certificate won't be expiring within 90 days. This covers the new features we've added to version 4.6.1. If you would like to see the other changes such as bug fixes and other updates, you can visit the RV Tools website and select version info from the top navigation bar. We hope you found this useful. Thank you for using RV Tools.